Just recently, I passed by a car that had a little Tweety Bird sticker in the back window that said, God bless below it. And it got me to thinking about the name of God and how we use it in our society. Then I thought about the song, God Bless the USA by Lee Greenwood. And then I thought about all those people at those award shows that thank God for blessing you them. You know, like blessing them with another platinum album so they can buy another Mercedes so they don't have to drive that wretched BMW anymore. And then there are those fix up your house shows where people walk in and have few other words to express their amazement at what's been done than to say, oh my God. What I'm talking about and what I'm drawing reference to is the secularization of the name of God and the use of his name recklessly and needlessly whenever the situation seems to call for it culturally. It's all around us and we don't even see it because it's so deep in our culture. How many people actually take the time to consider the deep theological background of the song, God Bless America, you know, land that I when love? When we hear Lee Greenwood sing, God Bless the USA, is it the Holy Spirit that we feel in us or is it just some pre-programmed patriotic algorithm that moves inside of us? For most of us, the use of the name of God has lost its reverence. Back to those house fixer-upper shows, how sad is it that the best we can do is declare the name of God in surprise when we see new wallpaper? Many of Jewish faith won't even say the name of God outside of prayer. They won't even type it unless it's in the form of G underscore D. They so revere the name of God that they never want to misuse it. Many will even use the word Hashem, which is Hebrew for the name. So what do we do with this? I hope that we will all make efforts towards restoring the revered name of God to its rightful place. My hope is that every time we see or hear the word God, we truly think about the omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent creator of the universe that breathed life into each and every one of us. I hope we consider that the use of the name of God in speech should carry a certain level of reverence. And finally, we need to realize that when we say God, He's listening. Hey, be sure to subscribe above and reply to below. I'd like to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.